Okay, now I'm back into the office. So let's have a look on NetEdit. I already discovered all four switches. So we can see I have distribution one, two, edge one, and two. So let's have a quick look on the edge one, which is our 6410 chassis. If I look on the hardware info, I can see the details of my line cards, management modules, and also power supplies. Okay, now what I would like to do is to upgrade all switches to the latest operating system. Let's start with distribution. So distribution, my both 8360, action, change firmware. Select image. I already loaded the OS to the NetEdit repository. So I just need to click on the one I would like to install, select and deploy. So image Aruba OS CX 10.06.0010 will be deployed on my both distribution one and distribution two switches. Perfect. Deploy. So now NetEdit will load the image to both switches. And then we will need to reboot both boxes manually because I didn't check the box reboot after deploy. So let's wait a couple of minutes and I will come back and look on the console. Now the deployment is finished. I connected both USB-C console ports to my terminal server, so I can check exactly what's going on on the switch. So show images. I can see now in the primary flash, I have the 10.6.0001, and now in the secondary, the 0010, the same on the second switch. So we are ready for the upgrade. Boot system secondary. Yes, to continue. And our distribution one will start to reboot. I will do the same on the second boot system secondary. And it's booting. Now let's wait a little bit until the end of the reboot process. And we will check the switch is now running the new revision. We can see the secondary flash is selected for the boot as I specified in the command line. We are booting on the 10.6.0010. It will be the same for the second one. The boot process doesn't take a long time on the CX switches. So just let's wait uh, until it's done. Okay, the first just finished the boot process. And we can see we are now running 10.6.0010.
Now let's do the same on the 6410 chassis. So this is the Edge 1. If I have a look on the consoles of both management modules, so I can see I have 10.5.001 in the primary and secondary image. You can see the prompt of uh, the active management module displays the name of the switch and the second management module displays standby. So I can still perform some show comments, but not possible to go into the configuration mode. So let's go back to NetEdit. I will select my Edge 1 switch, action, change firmware, select image. I will select my 10.6.0010, up and deploy. So now NetEdit will load the image into the switch. Let's wait a few minutes to finish that. Deployment finished from NetEdit point of view. If I look on my console, I can see now the secondary image is 10.6.0010. And let's initiate the boot from the secondary flash. Takes a little bit of time. Okay, and continue. So as you can see, both management modules will reboot at the same time. So let's wait a few moments until the reboot is finished. Now the reboot is almost finished. It took quite a long time because we went uh, through uh, the major revision upgrade from 10.5 to 10.6. So it took uh, something like 10 minutes. Now let's log again. And check running revision, we are running 10.6.0010. Perfect. Okay, the last one. Let's go back to the devices. Edge 2, so this is our 63 VSF. Action, change firmware, select image, this time we select the same because this is exactly the same image file for the 63 and 64, still 10.6.0010 and deploy. Let's wait, NetEdit download the OS to the whole VSF and then we will reboot it. Deployment finished. I have now 10.6.10 in the secondary and boot system secondary. For the VSF as well, all four members will reboot at the same time. So I have the console only on the master switch. Now we are also going from 10.4 up to 10.6. So two major revisions. I believe the switch will reboot several times. So let's wait a little bit. The reboot is now almost finalized. 
let's wait a few more moments. Okay. And let's check the running version 10.6.0010. Perfect. So now my lab environment is ready, running latest Aruba OS CX revision, and I can start configuring my test use cases. Thank you very much for watching and uh, talk to you next time. Thanks. Bye.